Megan, I'm a student here at Moss Landing. Again, I hope you guys enjoy open house. Yeah, it's a beautiful day. This is a piranha. That's a piranha? That's a wolf eel. Oh. A what is it? A wolf eel? A wolf eel. Oh, oh. wolf eel, yeah. Look. Did you get to see our hagfish today? Hagfish, also known as slime eels. They generally generate a lot of slime on their bodies. But I think these guys are kind of tired and they haven't been doing a whole lot for us. You guys can touch them if you want. The shark scales are actually very tiny little teeth that are pointed backwards. And people used to use it as sandpaper, in fact. If you go this way, it's smooth. But if you go backwards, it's really rough. Go ahead, touch it. Yeah, no, it does. They're amazing anywhere. They are amazing. Ancient fishes. This is a, a fish that was caught in the trawl fishery. This is a vermilion rockfish. So this is a fish that you might catch if you went fishing off California. See how pretty red it is? That's why it's called a vermilion, which is another word for red. Do you guys want to go fishing? You want to go fishing for us and catch fish and ID them? Okay, so here's the game. You're going to ID two fish for us. You're going to catch them, ID them, and if you get them right, you get a prize, okay? Yeah. Okay, hold your pole. You too. Okay, let's go. Okay, there's your fish. So there's two cards to help you ID all the fish in the game. So remember, you have the whole card to look over. Yeah. And there's a clue on the back. Can you read it? I am a bright vermilion red like fish. That, he's right there. Yeah, he's just like that one. So you, can you find that fish on the card? Do you think that one's it? I mean, it looks really close. This one. It is that one. See, fish come in a lot of different colors, even within the same species. You remember to mark them on your sheet, but now you get to pick a prize. So there's stickers and tattoos. What do you say? Thank you. You're All welcome. Right. And this is eight sharks and rays and fish. Is we count rings mm -hmm. in, like in a different tree? structures. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's just like rings on a tree. Very cool. Yeah, yeah. And then for That's fish, we use their ear bones, and they, they do the same sort of thing where they lay down bands in their ear bones. Each yeah. pair of bands is one year. Is that a light and a light and a dark band together make one year? Mm -hmm. oh, okay, it is. For most species, some species are weird and and don't, but by and large, it's just one year, one band. Wow. So it's just like rings on a tree. And so then all that information goes into all the population models and, mm -hmm. and the stock assessments to help manage the different fisheries. So, important and fun. Yeah. Very fun. <laughs> Those are shark stomachs. Get blood in the stomach? It looks like they ate a lot of blood. It's just a candy stomach. It's filled with jello and gummy candy. <laughs> But so the kids can come through. All right, now squeeze it out. Squeeze the stomach out into a cup. And who oh, is that? look at that. Okay, sure. And ID what's what's in the in the stomach. Here, you wanna throw it in here? It's not good. What does that look like in there? And then figure out what species it came from. You wanna come see what kind of shark it came out of? Come here. Here, hold it. It's pretty exciting. <laughs> Do you want to see an awesome disappearing trick? So why are so many deep sea creatures okay. red? So oh, <laughs> yeah. you cover them up with blue light, the red fish disappear. Now you see them. Now you do. Marine biological map. It was confirmed by we, multiple people. We like, have the Whoa, it's, it's, amazing. Amazing. Yeah. it's amazing. Nature is awesome. <laughs> <laughs>